Today we combined uh, playing really good basketball with just great, great energy, coupled with great energy that our fans in this building provided for us, and we in turn gave it back to them. Just a great day for the Deeks. A lot of great individual performances, but most importantly, a great team performance. Any questions? It seems to me like the Deeks, when you talk about the character of the team, the fact that they lost two years from the game on the road, and this is that reason when you keep your country. Well, we do. We have great character people on this basketball team, but you know what we talked about was Everybody questioned our confidence. People were asking me, you know, where's the confidence level of this team? And we turned it around and we just said, we should have, we have great confidence. I mean, we, we, coming into this game, we said if we had one less turnover and one more converted basket or one better defensive possession in each of the last two games, we'd have a three game winning streak. And so we flipped it around and said, guys, we should feel real good about ourselves because we could correct this. So let's have a great day on Saturday. And, and, and our players, uh, because of their great character, uh, they just really, we just had some great practices. Yeah, you were telling the team in practice that you used to run. You could run by hand. You could force the tip on my Right. What did you see there? Well, we just felt that, um, we just felt that, you know, they're so big, what, what, it, it's not good to just go half court and grind it out. We got to get up and down the court 94 feet, 94 feet in defensive transition. Our bigs, I told Tyler Cavanaugh, I told Devin Thomas, I told Travis when he's at the four, and I, Arno, and, you know, Andre, if he's in there, I said, guys, you should be able to outrun their bigs both ways. So defensively, get down there and get organized and help our guards corral Shane Larkin, who's a, who's a really a talented young player. He really is. And, and get down there, get our defense organized so we can stop him from getting to the rim. And for the most part, we, we did a pretty good job of that. But, you know, he's really good, and he'll get there at times. And, um, and then offensively, let's, if we can get, get stops, and we've got to get stops and rebounds, let's run them. Before, so we can't get into a physical confrontation, but what we can do is, is outrun them and move them and drive them. Coach, will you talk about the effort that you had on them and Travis on the board? I mean, they got happy with Travis and Blake's battle. Yeah, no, I mean, we did a really good job about, well, we out-rebounded them by one, and we just, uh, again, did Devin and Travis, Travis, uh, he only had eight points, but he did a heck of a job with five blocks of steel and ten defensive rebounds. And, and, and uh, Arnaud did a really good job early on. Uh, uh, Madison got himself five defensive boards, too. So uh, it was just a great team effort. It seems like you have a great spark from Madison on the bench in terms of keeping the plays alive. And, uh, Tyler also did a nice Well, what did they Well, first of all, uh, they all gave us great play at both ends of the court. We can talk about the shots they made, and, um, but defensively they were, you know, Tyler Tyler did a really good job in the post. We did a really good job at digging. I know Travis came up with a, uh, a steal off a dig. I know that, uh, if I remember right, Madison did the same thing. There were a couple other guys as well, but everybody contributed with you know, shooting a, well, a very good percentage, taking good shots, and sticking to the game plan, and not turning the ball over. That was a big key. How, how did the team keep getting time when they made that assertion? I think what you just said was probably, is probably the most important part of this game. We knew that they would make a run. They're the number two team in the country, and they've, they've come back, and, and they're really special. This is a team that can win it all. But I think what was really special about this game is that we knew that they would make a run. And I believe they cut it to, what, six? Five. Five at one time. And our guys never wavered. You could see it in their eyes. And they just kept attacking offensively. They kept defending defensively. They kept scrapping. And that, to me, was, I think, the most impressive thing in this basketball game was our resolve when they started closing the gap. Were there any adjustments that you made at that? Pardon me? 
if he doesn't score a lot for them, they're going to struggle with it. It seemed like Cody won the balance game for his play. Cody met the challenge and so did Madison. They both came in and watched a lot of film individually, voluntarily, voluntarily. <laughs> and uh, just really proud of them uh, in terms of their preparation. Um, like I said, it goes back to the high character we have on this basketball team. It's like Cody was taking the ball to the rack a lot more aggressively. Yes, yeah, we, we need to be aggressive, and, and I told them, I want you to be fearless, I want you to be aggressive, and uh, we even referred to Johnny Wooden yesterday, and, uh, Johnny Wooden had some quotes about being fearless and not being afraid to fail, and not being afraid to make mistakes. That's how you become successful, and uh, we talked about that yesterday at practice. Coach, you talked to uh, Travis McCaffrey, a guy who only took four, uh, four field goals. You gave you about a bit today. Travis was very, very valuable, and, and uh, <coughs> you know that's where his, you know, he he, he stayed the course, uh, didn't get a lot of shots, like you said, but he, he he played a major part in this win with ten boards, like I said, and what five blocks, and his defense, and just just did a great, great job. Coach, you talked about your players not wavering when they cut the lead down to five and they continue to be aggressive. Um, the Miami coach obviously had some adjustments coming out of halftime. What adjustments did you make, though, at that point? Like, what were you telling your team to, you know, not waver? Well, the they, they started double teaming. Uh, uh, and so what we did was we have some sets that kept the ball in the middle of the court okay. where it, it, it's, a, it's tougher to, to, to uh, two time. And so uh, we, we just went to a couple of different sets offensively that kept the ball in the middle and it kept really good spacing so we can exploit that. Okay. Just, uh, you know, he got us off to a great start and, and uh, as a, the only senior, um, funny before the game I said guys we what well, the asset we have is young legs and he says are you referring to me too <laughs> and uh, I said you're still younger than the, their average age but my point is is that you know as as the senior the lone senior um, he gave those young guys on our team a lot of confidence uh, his start he was his first half was just absolutely terrific but five for five from the arc alone, that's big time. Thanks, guys. Thank you.